Hi guys, Jerry Anderson here with Bankle and welcome to video tutorials for Bankle Chat. And today we're going to learn how to create and manage tickets for conversations using Bankle Chat. So in this tutorial we'll talk about how we can create, view, edit and assign tickets. We'll also talk about ticket settings and how to create a ticket for a live chat conversation. So let's get started. With Bankle Chat, you can generate a ticket for each support request and then track the progress of issues resolution based on this ticket. So click Support Ticketing. And this is the user interface for creating and managing the support tickets. To view all the tickets without any specific criteria, you can click All Tickets and you can view the tickets that have not been resolved through my unresolved tickets and you can also choose to see the tickets that have not been assigned to any support representative and you can view the unsolved tickets from here you may choose to hold the ticket so that no one else can reply to the specific ticket you can view the solved tickets from here now let's have a look at how you can create a support ticket. And this is the user interface for creating a new ticket. You can uh, provide the summary of the issue for which you want to create a ticket for. And you can uh, choose the priority of your ticket as well. So select the desired option from the list. And you may also choose the type of the support ticket such as question, problem and so on. And you can uh, choose the assignee for this ticket from the list as well. There is an option to assign the ticket to you for solving and monitoring the support ticket. So click assign to me. Choose the department from the list. You can uh, select any department of your choice. And you can uh, provide the issue details here in this section. You may also choose uh, the number of weeks from the list. And now click Create. A confirmation message is shown that a new ticket is created. And the ticket that you have just created is shown here at the top of the tickets list. Now let's view the ticket. For that, click on the ticket and this is the view mode of the ticket. You can choose to perform multiple operations from the available options and then click edit to modify the ticket information. You can make the desired changes in edit mode of the support ticket. For example, you can add some content to the existing description. And once you are done with that, you can click done to confirm the changes. A confirmation message is shown that the ticket has been saved. You can also assign the support ticket to any person authorized to view and manage tickets such as a sales representative. So click assign and then click here to choose the assignee from the list and then click done to save the changes. A confirmation message is shown that the support ticket has been updated. And then click Resolve Ticket to change the status of the support ticket as solved. A confirmation message is shown that the support ticket has been updated. There might be a scenario where you may choose to reopen a ticket that has been solved earlier. For that, click Return to exit the view mode and then click settings to check the configuration option for support tickets and then click ticket settings this is the user interface for ticket configuration now choose the settings for conversation tickets from the available options and then click save to confirm the settings for tickets that will be used during live chat sessions for offline messages a confirmation message is shown that the settings have been saved. You can create tickets from 
a conversation during a live chat session. So let's have a look at it. You can click on a live chat and then click here to choose the option for creating ticket for this conversation. So guys, this is how you can create tickets from a live chat session. My name is Jerry Anderson. Thank you for your time.